Welcome or welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Surviving Summer. If you are new here, my name is Kimon and I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. But if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in. So yeah, it's another video. I honestly don't know if I like this lighting. I'm at work. If you guys cannot tell, I apologize if the lighting is horrible. But as you can read by today's title, we are doing a collection at Sassery Hall. I was initially going to just do a Shein haul, but I have other things that I bought. And I've never shown you guys this. I'm just going to do everything together. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do everything in categories. But I will say which product I got from which store and what's not. Everything will be linked below in the description box. Once I have a link. <laughs> For the Beijans, I will try to put the Instagram page in the description below. Okay, let's get the ball rolling. So the first category is hats, and they only have like two hats. I was tempted to get some more, but then I was like, a hat in this heat, my hang and spare my hang and so it's not bad. It don't make sense. Both of these hats are from Shein. So the first hat is this, you call this a baseball cap. Is this gray? It says black rebel here and then it says far long tradition solve and then that says, says variation after a tl and mesh stick little rips on the top and then here it says indian dakota so it has some little distress detail to the side there's also like distress material going on so it's actually like this tritone gray fat so cute i love it it's adjustable to the back as well so yeah, that is the first hat. So this is the second hat. The second hat, we have this crocheted bucket hat. This is so pretty. It's a little flare off at the bottom. So there's like a total of one, two, three. Four cherries and then there's one big one to the top. Um, is this anything better? I feel like it went worse. Oh Lord. Struggles of a content creator. <laughs> well, I don't want a video on that because I will, I will have a list. Did we move again? Absolutely. Anyways, I actually bought this mirror. This is what it looks like. So cute. Anybody, it's kind of like mirrored as you guys can see. And this is the inside. And it's double sided, which is really nice. Oh, I got this from Shein. <laughs> so now let us get into the next category. So the next category coming from head, we get into the eyewear and that is shit. No, I don't want to be surprised, but I literally only bought two pairs of shades. And that's because shades that I really want is like designer shades, which is the Larvae shades. So this is the first pair of shades which you all probably saw in a couple of videos. And these are these clear glasses. I thought these were cute. And I saw myself these are like my everyday summer shades. So this is the last pair of shades that I got. And these are these. I call them Power Ranger shades. <laughs> so these, these are so cute and they are just so different. Like look at these side. Look at the little jewelry rhinestones here. Look at these side. Like this. So I thought I had to grab these. Love them. Okay, so we're on to the next category, and that is jewelry. Okay, so we're gonna start with the things that I got from Shein. So the first thing I picked up is this cross silver necklace. This is what it looks like. The lengths are, I would say, in medium size, and I love this silver. So that was the only chain I got from Shein. Now we're gonna get into like the bracelet. And continuing on on the silver train, we have this silver double layered bracelet. They have like this fine link chain part. And then there is clovers. There's like five clovers, four mini ones, and one big one that is actually rhinestone. 
this is so cute let me show y'all how cheap shan is like look at this you can see that this is the actual length of the wrist set right y'all can see that little brown part on the length you see what i put in there to hold it together that is so ghetto like it literally popped i'm afraid to give me like a brand new bracelet then put on this rusty way of thing to hold it together i will say it really does feel cheaply made like this feels so like it feels like i literally have on paper on my hand and i don't know how i feel about it because given that if that little thing pop already this nail pop really fast over time so up next which is also silver i got this i think it's called easy love bracelet so it has like hearts and then like gems going all the way around this is some good quality this is how it fits love it and i also got it in gold this is a gold one look how rich this looks i don't usually match jewelry but look at how these two look together on my hand what I really need a gold and silver watch because this actually eating. Hmm. Shan, 10 out of 10 of these. Okay, so these are the next two bangles that I got. These are actually gold. So we have this knot bangle. Looking at this, I can already see this is going to be way too big on me. Then we have like this rope or intertwine kind of bracelet. So this is what it looks like together is he set the gold is kind of pretty too i don't know if you guys could tell it's a nice pretty gold this is the next jewelry also gold but this is a anklet so i got this gold anklet with balls on it super duper cute love the quality so moving on these are the earrings that i picked up these cubic rhinestone earrings these super cute ladies so this is the last accessory that I got from Shein. But before I like show y'all, I just want to show y'all the packaging of this product. Not it in a box. Not like it under a microscope. That way it giving. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Anyways. So it's actually this ring. It's like a little familiar. This is like a little. Mm -hmm. Look at this. When I cannot tell me this, I look like a Pandora ring. So we're going to get into the final piece of jewelry and that is actually from pandora so this is the last piece of jewelry can y'all guess what it is what's about pandora and the packaging it'd be so cute to me i get a little box with the name on it oh if y'all guess earrings you are incorrect your girl actually bought this silver chain let's look at it i saw this and it instantly found a little bit yeah I'm buying that today. Look at the little jewel on the hook. It's the detailing for me. If it's wanting to get from this haul, if it's a silver lover, it's this chain. So that is it for the jewelry. We have two more categories to go. So now we're into the second last category, and that is handbags. Honestly, I am obsessed with handbags. And the funny thing is, I'm not a girly girl. So I don't know where this obsession came from, what started it. The first bag is this black puffer bag, which I'll probably already saw if you watched my first episode of this Surviving Summer series. This is the black puffer bag. Super big. You can actually use this for work, school, running errands. It is really big and it holds a lot. These straps are not the most comfortable, but there's no padding in the actual straps and just regular bike strap the puff is not as puffy but it still gives off the puffy look zips run pretty smoothly so that is the first buy this is the second buy which y'all already probably saw again so we have like this crochet i, I feel like this is giving like beach vibes. is it this beige or off-white color really nice bag really well made i will highly recommend for like an aesthetic day you know so that's the second this is the next bag we have this chocolate brown clear bag i personally love this bag i love the color i saw it and i was like yes i have got it so we're on to bag number four and we have 
this sticky woman bag i love this bag now this bag this bag could literally go up i can see most of the outfits that i brought in and i'm still bringing in then when you open it up this is the strap of the bag it's actually just chain so you can make it short like this or you can like straight one side and just make it a long bag like so but i think i prefer to wear it short the inside has two compartments we have or three well three so you have one compartment to the back there's this middle compartment which isn't too big and then there is the front compartment literally a nice shoulder bag like so okay, so this is the second last bag we have this green bag so this shoulder crocodile print bag i actually don't have any bags in this color yeah i will say this it works pretty good this is the inside not such a big bag so yeah this is the color right here such a pretty green so this is the final handbag that i got from shein and that is this pink denim handbag look at the details i love the front this frayed jeans material and then the back is like i don't know what material got this this is actually the strap for the bag um this bag is actually a decent size this holds quite a lot as you guys can see i don't know what the lighting like the lighting does outside of me the whole video but hopefully you want to still can see the products properly and you're also enjoying the video so now let's get into the two bags i actually bought from local stores here in Barbados. So this is the first bag. This is actually not a handbag, but it is like a travel pouch. And it's still a bag. So I just said let me include it in the video just to show y'all what I got. So I got this yes travel pouch, or I guess you'll call it a makeup bag, toiletry bag, cosmetic bag, whatever you want to call it. If y'all don't know me now, I'm a gas girly. I love some gas. So this was a hundred dollars. I got this from Instel Couture. I think that's what her brand's name is they are located in normal center so coming in from pls side if you're coming off of broad street they're gonna literally be the store right next to pls so you can't miss it so yeah i got this gas bag really cute see it is pretty decent size what am i gonna like pretty deep pretty big love her love her and there's a zip to the top so you can put like toothpaste all of that your skincare up here if you want to use it as a travel coat. I love the two-tone of the bag. So it's like this gray and then there's like dark gray to the side. I really do love that. So this is the final bag that I got from local store. So this is from K Shower. So if you did not watch my collective vlog where I went on this mini shopping spree, be sure to pause this video. Go watch that video. And come back. So this is the bag that I picked up. I got this. Let me pause for intermission. Okay, so we're back. The color is called Pewter. I love it though. It's very different. It's not a usual color. I actually got this for one fifty-five duty-free price. This is the main part, and then these are the straps. The straps have like this little mini pouch, which I guess I could put like my earphones in and like little cash which is so cute the straps are detachable so i'm gonna take them off i'll show you the main part of the bag you know so you can wear it as a cross body or you can literally wear it as a wrist lap which is so cute so this is the main part look at the little sim the gas symbol um the inside is actually a tree compartment bag so we have this compartment which has other mini compartments then you have the little compartment and then there's the next side. I really love this bag. So yeah, that is it for the bags. Y'all can even know which one is your favorite bag. Also that little haul. Oh, now let's get into the final category. So we are back with the final category and that is shoes. Of course, like you cannot wear outfits without shoes. We're gonna start with the shoes that I got from Shein. And don't be surprised you realize that it's the same design but different color. So the first pair of shoes are these white shoes. They gave me like the Steve Madden dupes. Y'all know the shoes I'm talking about. The soles are not comfortable. They don't have that much cushion. Like it literally has little to no cushion. But I got them in white. And then I also got them in black. Same design, same everything. And you think that's all? No. I also got them in brown. So yes, I got them in literally three 
hard. And then this is the last pair of shoes that I got from Shein. And I got this Oh, slippers. These are so cute. And I love the gold. They're so shimmery, so bright. These do not feel like the most comfortable. The sole is not that soft. I got them in a size 8. Everything will still be linked down below in case y'all missed it the first two times I said it. So that is basically all the shoes that I got from Shein. So these are the pair of shoes that I actually ordered off Amazon. And these are these double wrap. Oh, these are so comfortable. I will literally wear these every day, but they're white, so I can't. I don't know what possessed me to get white, but I feel like white it just looks so classy, so elegant. The only thing I will say about these though is that they run a bit bigger than the actual size. Love, love, love. These are literally my summer shoes. 10 out of 10 will recommend. Okay, so the second last pair of shoes I actually got from this online store in Barbados. I can't remember her name off my head, but I will always put it on the screen. So these are these gas shoes. These are like pink purple. I don't know how to best describe it, but it's like pink but still purple. So yeah, this is the design of the strap. Lover, lover, lover. They're not that soft, but I love this color. I don't have shoes in this color. So I definitely had to grab them. Nice little summer. A summer shoe, honestly, in my opinion. I think I paid $120. So now let's get into the final item for this accessory haul. From my collective vlog where I mentioned that I found a pair of shoes, I actually picked up these Tommy shoes from Kia Shepherd. They were on sale. I was getting them at the duty free price which was only 134 Beijing. These are very unusual. When I can see these, I'm gonna be like, hmm, you actually went into this real. So these are the shoes that I picked up. So these are the shoes. It's actually just lime green. And I love them. I honestly, I honestly do love them. These are screaming summer. But it's like this crossover strap. And then there is the Tommy jeans, which is the, I guess the brand going across the sole of the shoe at the bottom which is so cute oh this is the color here that is literally it for my accessory haul i apologize again for the lighting i feel like the lighting was really not doing me justice for this haul like i said for the fifth time or the fourth time i will link everything in the description box below if you are interested in anything that i've shown in this haul y'all can let me know your all favorite item or items from this haul hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like comment share with friends and yeah if you would like to see more of this content more of my episode be sure to subscribe turn on your post notifications so you don't miss when i upload any new videos and yeah that is it i will see you guys in the next episode